Hey guys, what's up? Roadrunner here. Uh, right now, we are in Winsboro, Texas. It's getting close to 8 o'clock at night. We are hanging out at the train station. The dogs are down the hallway sleeping on a bench. Uh, I got very good news. We are close to Lufkin. And I was actually going to bypass Lufkin and head to Jefferson instead. But somebody told me. Now, y'all remember I j lost Marley on Christmas Eve night and I could not find him well we finally found out what had happened <clears throat> uh, somebody was walking down the road with his two dogs and Marley had ran up to them and so they took him in and they couldn't find us because I didn't have the money to put a microchip in him and when they tried calling the vet's office over in Lander, Wyoming, they wouldn't give them any gave them any information other than what his original name was, which was Dude. So we have located Marley, and we are on our way to go get him. I've already gotten in contact with the guy who has him right now. He's told me he's been trying to find us. Uh, I asked him if there's anything that we can repay him back for, and he says he's does not want any money or anything. So the good thing is we found Marley and I'm so I'm so excited. I'm actually really on the verge of crying. <laughs> you know, I'm about to get my boy back again, you know. Uh they didn't really believe me at first. I was the owner. They asked uh if I could prove it. And I said, "Well, he has white underlining fur." And at least three of his paws have white on it. I think a fourth one does too. It's been a while since I've seen him. And uh, I said he had a leather, brown leather uh, collar on. And he also has like a little chip. You know, like a little, like his piece of his ear was chipped out. And uh, he said, yes, that's the one. And I said, I will send you pictures as proof that I'm the owner. And I did. And he agreed, yes, this is your dog. You know, so uh, he's been taking care of him. I'm very excited. I'm trying to hurry up and get back to Lofkin so we can go get him. And uh, like I said, I'm just really on the verge of crying right now. And uh, yeah, but it sucks right now because it's raining. I mean, look at this. I don't know if you can see it because I'm using my reverse camera, but yeah, it's raining right now. We were actually trying to reach all the way to Mineola, hopefully by today. Because here's the thing since we're in Winsboro right now, we can head down to Mineola, and then from Mineola, we can head down to Tyler, from Tyler to Jacksonville, from Jacksonville to Rusk, and then from Rusk to Lufkin. Simple as that. And away. So with that being said, yeah, we're really trying to hurry up. I think maybe within the next three or four days, we will probably make it back to Lufkin, and uh, the plan from there is, I know I said I was going to, you know, probably stop hoboing. The reason why I was thinking about stopping was it just felt, I guess it felt weird not having Marley. Because to me, Marley is like the male version of Xena, you know. And aside from Xena, Marley is the second longest running dog I've had. You know, so it's just it's just weird not having him with me, and I just felt, I don't know, I, I guess I felt disappointed. When I lost Marley, a lot of people were telling me I needed to stop and get off the road again, and I almost listened, you know. But if there's one thing I've learned from guys like my friend Solo Drifter and Shoestring and all them is you stop listening to people and you just live life the way you want it. So we decided we're not going to get off the road, you know. Once we get Marley back, we're going to head up to Jefferson, Texas. Maybe there, be there for a few weeks. I don't know yet, you know. Depends on what's going on. And then from Jefferson, we'll go straight up to Arkansas. From Arkansas, we'll head straight out to the East Coast. So, yeah, that's what's going on. We will be getting Marley back. I'm so fucking excited, dude. I like I said, I'm really, I'm about to, I'm about to start crying just thinking about it. But anyways, uh, we gotta go. I don't know if anybody's gonna show up here. It's really, really weird how they leave the building unlocked with the restrooms in it, which that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, this is this is the only one, of the only reason why I like being in Winsboro. I got Wi-Fi. I got a, 
electrical outlets. I got plenty of video games and uh, movies to watch on my phones. And I got restrooms and the dogs. And I've never been told to leave here. So, hey.